Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and thank you for all your get well soon messages. I am better, little weak but uh, well I'm back. Thank you. Let's not waste any time on me. Let's get straight to your message Leo. Let's see what's been happening and what message there is here for you. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords in Reverse which is a good thing. Okay, King of Cups. Oh, who's in love here, Leo? Okay. Okay. All right. So, yes, that, that is uh, somebody wants to try again. They want to fight for this connection, Leo. I think still holding on to that hope uh, that they can put in the work. They do want to put in the work. They don't want to be stressed anymore. They're really wanting to have this brand new beginning because they're in love. This King of Cups is in love but they're also very burdened. Very burdened because they feel that their person is very upset with them, has emotionally walked away from them and uh, well they're feeling a bit stuck here. Let's see, let's uh, start your reading and figure this out. Leo, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then we'll clarify these cards. Uh, Leo, bye. But I'm still a bit choked up. So bear with me. I'm a little weak. And uh, if I cough in the middle, well, I'll try and pause it. Okay, so Leo and that person's spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and that person. Thank you. Let's take a few more Leo from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Leo, uh, well, I'm back. My email is in the description box below. Leo and their person. Leo and their person. Just a few more Leo from a third deck as well. And then we'll start your reading. Leo and their person. Leo and their person. And here comes the cough. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay. The first card here says, Leo, it hurts me that you continue to choose others over me. What do they have that I don't? Or is it that you don't feel worthy of a real connection? Enough of divine timing already. You want to be with me and I want to be with you. Why can't we get our shit together now? I feel so guilty when I'm intimate with anyone else. During sex, all I can ever think about is you. I get so high thinking of you that it's only ever you that makes me orgasm. I can't bear the thought of you being with someone else. I get so jealous. I just want you to be mine. I hurt myself when I chose to keep the peace and enjoy time with you. I should have told you the truth about what was bothering me. Keeping it all inside me has been eating away at me. I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. That's the problem with this King of uh, Cups character. I mean, they, they may have a lot of love in their heart, but uh, emotionally, very difficult to get the words out of them. They always play hot and cold or hide their feelings and maybe that's the dynamic that's been going on here. I love you more than anyone, see, but failed to show it. I never truly moved on, even though I appear so. I regret my past mistakes and I wish I can have another chance with you. So embarrassed, I acted foolish and I don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. Loving you is knowing what true love is. There is no logical explanation to my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love. And the last one here, Leo says, 
when I'm feeling low, I close my eyes and I can feel your presence comforting me. I'm so grateful to our mystical connection. So Leo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. But of course, first for that angel blessing card, let's see what my angels have for my Leo gang today as a blessing, guidance, advice or a message. Signs from above. Well, the angels are surrounding you, Leo, so look out for signs and synchronicities. This could come well as lyrics of songs, or they could come as repeating numbers. I mean, you know the jig, right? I mean, anything that you feel out of the ordinary, it could be your angels trying to tap you on your shoulder to direct you in the right direction, right? Signs and synchronicities, so keep a watch out. Okay, so Spirit, let's get on with their reading. Uh, who's sitting in the Four of Pentacles energy and why? Four of Pentacles. Somebody is still holding on to that hope that this connection hasn't totally ended. Yeah, they are very sad. They're very depressed. Uh, they. This is the King of Cups, yes. This is the King of Cups back again. This entire reading, I think, is focusing on one person who is this King of Cups, who is very, very sad, very depressed, hoping I haven't really killed this connection completely. I hope it, you know, hasn't ended completely. Still holding on to that hope and wish that somehow they can make it work. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels they made a very, very foolish and unwise choice in their life and they're scared now. They're scared because they feel, uh, what if they do send a message, if they do try and make it work, what if their person is now too strong or will hold back. Uh, they don't have much hope. As much as they want to try, they're feeling so foolish right now that they feel even if I did send a message, you know, a, it would take a lot of courage and B, if uh, they did get over that fear and did manage to send that, they don't have much hope. They, they're kind of feeling quite hopeless here. Uh, nine of swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, sometimes they feel... <laughs> oh. This person wants to come back, even if, even at the risk of getting their heart broken. Like anything that can get me out of my sleepless nights, my stress, my tension, all I want to do is like jump into the fire and say, I, here I am, I'm back, I'm back and you know, whatever, whatever, even if it, at the risk of getting their heart hurt, it's like, they just want to take that like it's like that band-aid I just want to rip it open I mean rip it off and just return and even if it breaks my heart at least this non-stop nightmares and sleepless nights I'll be over that uh, somebody wants to take a risk here uh, the fool what's the fool spirit yeah anything to get them unstuck they're ready to take that risk and do anything that will get them unstuck from the position they find themselves in. Okay, so King of Cups, since you are center of my spread today, I am going to give you the mic. Let's see what you want to say to Leo's reading today. King of Cups has the mic, Leo. King of Cups. King of Cups is saying, oh my God, I'm not happy at all. I'm feeling defeated, demotivated, no, my person is upset and angry with me, I feel none of my emotional needs will ever come true, I do want to work on this connection Omkara Taro, I do want to try again. If you don't believe me Leo, I'm going to show you the cards. I gave this King of Cups the mic, right? What, what did this King of Cups say? Maybe they overindulged in the past, but right now they feel none of their wishes are ever going to come true. This is how they're feeling. No excitement, no passion, nothing to look forward to. Why? Because they feel their person is upset and angry with them. And this uh, Queen of Wands is here twice, not once. 
this person desperately wants to this king of cups steps desperately wants to now work on this connection they do want to put in the work but they could be maybe feeling that the queen of wands is going to be defensive now uh, they're very burdened by and overwhelmed by the thought that their person is upset with them 10 of wands 10 of wands oh. 10 of wands somebody made a wrong choice in the past oh this person was i think chasing uh, money or uh, maybe not they were not in a good financial position or they had they felt the lack of certain something i don't know maybe this person had a lot of stuff going on in their own life at the mom at that time where they were unable to make the choice to choose everything they had everything four of wands ten of cups like everything now they have now they're feeling oh my god what did i do why didn't i make that choice give me one more for the ten of wands why are you feeling overwhelmed king of cups because now they know they've they're not sure whether this uh, they uh, see they've lost out they feel they feel i've lost out i should have treated my person better maybe they disrespected the queen of wands maybe they never offered any kind of commitment maybe they treated the queen of wands like uh, just a friends with benefits or uh, they never made that choice to do the right thing with the queen of pentacles now they feel the queen of uh, pentacles is now upset and angry with them may ha may, ma may have even emotionally walked away from them uh, queen of wands in reverse Okay. Okay. I think they always loved. I think they always loved the queen of wands. They hid that love. There was a lot of love that they had. They were a king of wands. They had a lot of love for the queen of wands. What but they covered it up by behaving like a player? By behaving immature? they killed this connection because of their ego and pride right whatever that was shown i think made the queen of wands walk away from the connection eight of cups eight of cups i think they were trying to avoid yeah avoid they uh, whoever this king of wands was it, they did have love they did have passion they had everything for the queen of wands but they maybe pretended that they were just in it for fun or being a player because they were not ready they cre make could have created this confusion because they were not ready to make a decision maybe regarding commitment right and now they're feeling the brunt of their bad behavior the wheel of fortune is now in reverse for them okay yeah they don't know what to do they do they don't know how to make things right now uh they feel that their person has already dumped them dropped them is no longer waiting around for them um I don't know this as much as this person wants a new beginning they want communication they don't want to be the first ones to communicate they're still being a bit stubborn they are being a bit stubborn because they're not sure whether their offer will even be accepted yeah let's see what this is why was this our overall energy spirit the seven of wands Seven of Wands. Okay, one more. So much love here, my God. There's so much love here. I think uh, you're both waiting for the other person. The 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 emperor is being a bit stubborn. They know they need to come and apologize, right? But they're expecting that the person who they do have unconditional love for, this Queen of Cups, doesn't love them anymore. They feel even if I go towards them. they're going to shut me out they're going to block me off they're going to push me away and uh, 
they're fearing that they're not going to get a second chance here. That is love here, that's all I can see. That's just a message for today. We'll get into more in depth next week when I do you versus them, but that's the message today. So that's it, Leo. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.